Hey friends, it's Maisie with Barbecue by Maisie. Welcome back to another episode of Backyard Bosses. Today, I am going to show you my favorite tailgating recipe. It's smoked chicken wings on the Pit Boss Austin XL Onyx Edition. Listen, you gotta have some good crispy chicken wings for those big game days. I'm going to show you how in just a few simple steps you can achieve that perfectly crispy skin on your chicken wings. Let's dive right in and prep our chicken wings. So if you are starting with frozen wings, which is what I have, they add a ton of extra moisture before they freeze the wings. So it's super important that when you thaw the wings, you put them on a rack and you're going to want them to dry out in your fridge overnight if possible. Something that is super key to achieving that crispy skin is before they ever hit the smoker to really dry out that skin. I promise you it's worth the time and effort. The end result is going to be amazing. All right, so my chicken wings have been on a tray on a wire rack in the refrigerator overnight, drying out that skin. So make sure you don't skip that step. Now let's move on to what you're gonna do next. Let's go. So I've got a paper towel here and I'm just going to pat these as dry as I possibly can. Remember, we want these skins to be super dry before they even hit the smoker. Going to flip them over so I can pat both sides dry. Pat the other side dry. Now we're going to put our wings into a gallon size storage bag. All right, this next step is totally optional, but I really do think it helps get the skins crispy. I add a half teaspoon of baking powder per every 12 wings. I have about 19 wings here, so I'm just going to do a heaping half teaspoon. I'm just going to add it to our bag. Then you're going to take the seasoning or rub that you plan on seasoning your wings with. Me, I'm using Pit Boss Honey Chipotle Rub. And you're going to add a generous amount of rub to your bag. Then just shake your wings to get all your wings evenly coated with the rub and baking powder. Now we're going to bring our trays back out. Arrange your wings back on the trays. I'm just coming back with my honey chipotle rub just to make sure these wings all, all have a nice coat of that seasoning. Pit Boss has a ton of different flavors of rubs and seasonings. You can check them out at your local Lowe's, Walmart, or on the Pit Boss website. The other, other seasoning I really love is the Nashville Hot. It's really good on chicken. It's really good on chicken wings. All right, flip your wings, get the other side. Okay, we're gonna season the other side. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to get these chicken wings on the smoker. I have competition blend pellets in my hopper today. I've got my smoker set to 250 degrees. I am placing the chicken wings on the left side of my smoker. The hottest part of the smoker is in the middle where the burn pot is. So for this first step, I want the chicken wings to smoke on the left side where it's a little bit cooler. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go. Putting my chicken wings here on the left side of my smoker. Putting them on the smoker. Check out these awesome Pit Boss tongs. You can find all Pit Boss accessories at Walmart, Lowe's, online. All right, now that we have our wings on the smoker, we are going to let them smoke for 45 minutes. We're going to come and flip them every 15 minutes 
Remember in our pit boss, the heat is coming up from the bottom, so we wanna make sure that we help these cook consistently and evenly by rotating them every 15 minutes. I'll see you back out here in 15 minutes to flip these chicken wings. Let's go. All right, it's been 15 minutes, so we are just going to come and flip our wings. Woo, that was a lot of work. All right, we'll be back out here in 15 minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. It's been 15 minutes. Let's flip these wings. All right, it's been 30 minutes into this lovely cook. I'll see you back out here in 15 more minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been another 15 minutes, which brings our total cook time thus far to 45 minutes. At this point, we are going to crank the heat up to 400 degrees on our pit boss, and we're going to move our wings over to the middle so that we're in the hottest part of the grill right over the burn pot. All right, so I'm gonna do that now. All right, as I'm moving these wings to the middle, I'm also flipping them so we can get that other side cooked. At this point of the cook, we are getting our skins crispy over that high heat. And then we're just waiting for the internal temperature of our chicken to get about into the 190s to 200s. Yes, chicken is safe to eat at 165, but I found for chicken wings, going up to a higher temperature just makes a better bite. All right, so at this stage of the cook, I like to check on my chicken wings about every five to seven minutes because things can move along pretty quickly. So I will be back out here at the grill in about seven minutes with a temperature probe to see where we are at on these chicken wings. Let's go. All right, the internal temperature of these wings is about the high 180s, 190s, so we're getting super close. I just wanna flip these wings one more time so we make sure both sides get a chance to get charred up over that high heat. I'm gonna rotate the ones that are in the back to the front because it's super hot back there. Put the ones in the front to the back. I am burning my little fingers off. It is so hot. Look at that nice, check out that nice crispy skin. It's gonna be so good. We're just gonna let these wings stay on the smoker for about another five to seven minutes to crisp up that other side of the skin. And then we are going to take them off and add a little bit of sauce to them. Total cook time on our chicken wings today was almost exactly one hour. We smoked them for 45 minutes at 250 degrees. Then we cranked up the temperature to 400 for about 15 minutes to get these wings perfectly crispy. The smell out here is absolutely intoxicating. I cannot wait to give these chicken wings a try. Listen, if you're not going to be saucing your chicken wings at all, your wings are done. I do like to add a little bit extra of our dry rub to the wings just to flavor them up a little bit. All right, if you are going to sauce your chicken wings, I'm saucing mine up in a little bit of buffalo sauce. The only way to have them, in my opinion. I'm going to toss them in buffalo sauce and then you can throw them back on your grill if you wanna let that sauce tack up a bit or you can just sauce them and toss them right in your mouth, which is what I'm going to do. So let me sauce my wings and then give them a try. All right, I got one of our buffalo wings here. I can tell it's so crispy, smells so good. That's a good chicken wing. All right, you guys, Pit Boss smoked wings turned out perfect every single time. It's a crowd pleaser. Don't forget to include smoked chicken wings at your tailgate party this season. They are so simple, especially when you use the Pit Boss to help you out with that extra smoke flavor. All right, let me know down in the comments if you are a ranch or blue cheese dipper. For me, I gotta have ranch on my wings with that buffalo sauce. I'd love to know what you prefer and make sure you tune in to the next episode of Backyard Bosses. It's gonna be a good one. You have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time.